Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and I'm coming to you tonight with a through the week. It is a weekday. Uh, coming to you with a weekday quick dinner. Something I'm doing quick through the week for the girls, you know, for the family, for dinner. Alright, and we have, if you've seen my Publix haul, you saw I had picked up the Pretzilla Soft Burger Buns. They look so good. Can't wait to eat them. And I picked up the Alexia Alexia Season Waffle Cup Fries. And the Tyson. I got these spicy chicken patties. Something quick, you know. Something quick to do through the week, you know. I get off of work. Um, like I said, I do work from home from now. Uh, for now, you know, due to the pandemic, I am working from home. Uh, they have us, you know, a lot of us out of the office are working from home. And um, my girls are homeschooled. Um, I chose not to send them to school, so they are uh, remote learners. So everybody's home. So uh, um, everybody's out of school. I'm off of work. So this is just something, you know, quick to do for dinner. And I'm going to throw the fries and the chicken patties, everything in the air fryer. So you guys know this is going to be um, trying to cut my cooking videos down, you know, trying not to make them so long. So this is going to be a quick video. Uh, shouldn't take me long to do those chicken patties in the air fryer, the fries in the air patties. And I'm also going to throw those uh, burger buns. Um, I don't want to throw those in the air fryer because I don't want those to get hard. So I'll just probably throw those in the microwave for like 10 seconds because we want to keep those nice and soft. So those be nice, soft, and warm. So, all right, guys, you know what we finna do. Let's get to cooking. Okay, guys, I am back. And as you can see, I've got my spicy chicken patties and my air fryer. Don't forget, I do line my air fryer with oil. I'm sorry, um, aluminum foil. I put that at the bottom. Um, and then I spray my aluminum foil. And I've got my chicken patties laid in there. And I spray the top of my chicken patties. The um, oil helps, you know, your cooking, helps everything cook. And of course, you guys know, let me show you my old faithful, I call it, the Publix Canola Cooking Spray. You guys watch my videos, you're going to see it all the time. I live by it. I love that stuff. All right, so that's all I did. And I'm going to go ahead and throw them in the air fryer um, at the temperature of 370 for 15 minutes. Um, I'm not going to really cook them that long. That's just what the um, air fryer automatically sets it time for. So I'll just say go with that. And then I'll come back and check on them in like five minutes. You know, check on them in five minutes. If they, if they need to be flipped over, I'll go ahead and flip them over. If not, I'll let them cook for a few more minutes. And then I'll come and flip them over. Now, also what I wanted to remind you guys of. Anytime you're using the air fryer and you're going to line your pan with aluminum foil, you have to make sure that you are sitting heavy stuff on top of the aluminum foil. You don't want to put something light on the aluminum foil and then when the um, air fryer starts blowing, it lifts your aluminum foil and the foil gets caught in your fan up top inside the air fryer. Don't want to do that guys. So I just want to make sure, you have to make sure you've got something on the aluminum foil heavy enough to keep it down. Like let's just say I want to cook three strips of bacon and I want to put it in the air fryer. And I put aluminum foil down and I throw three pieces of bacon on the aluminum foil. That's not going to be heavy enough to keep that aluminum foil pent down while that fan inside the air fryer is going. So I just want to make sure I'm telling you guys that. Make sure when you're using this aluminum foil, the food is heavy enough to keep the aluminum foil pent down. And that the air fryer doesn't lift it, the aluminum foil, and can cause the aluminum foil to go inside the uh, fan at the top. Of the air fryer inside so just want to make sure i tell you guys that i did want to make sure i mentioned that to you guys so i just remember that because i use my air fryer a lot so and if you guys use your air fryer a lot like me gotta make sure that uh, aluminum foil is way down all right enough of that let me go ahead and get my air fryer going here all right I got it at 370 for 15 minutes and we'll be back guys okay guys I'm getting ready to take the chicken patties out we still still have five minutes left on that 15 minute um, that I set it for um, I let them cook on one side for five minutes flip them over let them cook for five minutes on this other side and as you can see I still have five minutes left um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them out yep they are looking good smelling delicious let me see 
take you guys down so you can see what they are looking like. They are looking delicious. Yes, they are delicious. Yeah, they looking real good. Looking real good and they smell delicious. So, all right, that is it for our chicken patties. Let's go over here. Let's go over here to the stove. As you can see, we're not using the stove. So I'm gonna go ahead, place my chicken patties. And like I said, guys, this is a quick meal you can do through the week. Quick meal. Took, only took them five minutes on each side. Five minutes. And as you guys can see, you zoom in, of course. Let me see. Some light here. All right. Bring it in for you guys to see. Look. Look how nice and crispy those are. Nice and crispy. Here the girls back there playing around. But look at those spicy chicken sandwiches. They look delicious. Nice and crispy, guys. Five minutes on each side. So let's move on. Let's move on to these fries. We are cooking our Alexa seasoned waffle fries. Spinning you guys around here to the air fryer. Back to the air fryer. Get you over here so you can see down in that air fryer. Using the same aluminum foil I cook my chicken, my patties, no need to change. Use the same aluminum foil. Let's move on. All right, we're going to get these fries dumped in here. Make sure you, now one thing I do, I sit my fries out while the chicken patties were cooking. I have my fries sitting on this paper plate, so that way they can thaw out, you know? That's less cooking time. It's not going to hurt them to sit out for 10 minutes. It's not going to hurt them. All right, that's a trick too, you know? So your fries, they will be thawing out, um, you know, while you're cooking the chicken patties. So I do that all the time. All right, we ain't got to put none of our famous um, fry season, fry season on these. These are already um, seasoned waffle fries. I'm just spreading them out to make sure they get, you know, spread them out evenly. Put a nice coat, not too much. I, as you can see, I just sprayed it once. You don't need a lot. And um, I just did one coat of spray. I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. We're gonna keep that 370 temperature. We're gonna keep that 370 temperature. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. Sorry about that. We're gonna keep that 370 temperature that we have the air fryer on. Um, but the fries, I'm gonna put them on. I'm gonna put the fries on 10 minutes. I'm gonna put the fries on 10 minutes in this air fryer. That should be perfect. 10 minutes, they're gonna be nice and brown. I'll come and shake, 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 flip them over, and I'm gonna do them on the other side, just for five minutes. I'll be back, guys, so you guys can see the fries. Quick and easy meal, guys, through the week. Or oh, whatever day you wanna do it. All right, we'll be back. Okay, guys, our air fryer just went off. And let's see how we looking. Here, guys, I gotta keep adjusting this thing. There it is. There they are. There they are. Let's see how they look. Oh my goodness. They look delicious. Nice and golden brown and crispy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Crispy fries. Nice and crispy. So you know what? Let's go over here. Let me turn you guys around. And voila. Look at our finish. Well, I got to bring the fries over. Hold on, y'all. All right, let's get our fries dumped out. They are nice and crispy, not too hard, guys. They are perfect. They hot. They waffle fries, so, you know, you got to cook them hard enough to not break. But these uh, Alexa waffle fries, the seasoned ones that I have, they are so good. They are so good. And they season them so well. You know, to be frozen fries, they are really good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Mm-mm-mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. See? And you just take your aluminum foil and throw it away. Throw it all away. Mm-mm. Got y'all looking at the 
finishing results. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And you know what? All you gotta do, all you gotta do is just throw your um, pretzel bread in the microwave for like 10 seconds. That's what I'll do. As soon as we get ready to fix our sandwiches, I'll throw the, um, I'll throw the, uh, pretzel bread in the um the pretzel bun in the oven for about i'm sorry in the microwave for about 10 seconds they'll be nice and warm voila guys <laughs> that's it took me what five minutes on each side for the chicken patties um 15 minutes for the fries well i did it five flipped it over so 10 minutes for the fries too 10 minutes for the chicken patty 10 minutes for the fries and um we're gonna put our bread in the microwave for maybe 10 seconds 10 10 10 y'all I'm going to play them numbers. Maybe I win that lotto, that mega million. No, I don't play lotto. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, um, all right. This is it, guys. Nice, quick meal. And once again, this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I thank you guys for your time. I thank you for your support of, of my channel. Everybody has been so supportive. And I just want to always be thankful and grateful. Thank you, guys. And don't forget... You know what I'm going to say. Knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.